Hello YouTube, this is Sonic 2 kk here, and welcome back to another Python tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to talk about if statements. Uh, now, what is an if statement? Well, an if statement is basically a way to check if something is true in Python. So, you might have the user, you might have uh, a prompt for the user to enter their name, and if the name is a certain value, whoa, what's that? What is that? It's a little tiny insect crawling along my speakers. That's weird. Huh. Hello, little tiny insect creature. Anyway, yeah. Well, an if statement is basically a way to check if something is true. So if you're getting input from the user, you must see if their name is the same as your name. And you can probably print, hey, your name is the same as mine. Awesome. Uh, you know, you could just check to see if something like that's true. No, it's, it's a good way to check to see if something's happening in your program and this is what's known as control flow or conditional statements. So enough of me talking and let's demonstrate how to use it. So let's say if x is equal to 10 print hello world up here we will say x equals 10 and then it will say hello world. So let me explain how this works. We define a variable up here pretty standard and we call it x and then down here we say if x is equal to 10 print hello world now this double equals means if uh, is equal to so here we say if the variable x as we define up here is equal to just double equals that's that means is equal to so if x is equal to the value of 10 then we print hello world Hello world. That was weird. Sorry if you can hear my chair. My chair is really annoying. There. Hit my chair. Uh, sorry if you can hear that. It's, it's a terrible chair. But here, as we so we put the colon in, and then we take a new block of code. We take four indents for another block of code, and we say print hello world. Now that just means that we're going to print hello world. The text hello world, you know what print works, if the value of x is equal to 10. So print hello world, you can read it this way, print hello world if x is equal to 10. And it just so happens x is equal to 10. So that's pretty much our if statements work. We could also say y equals 20 and say if x is equal to y, print hello world, but it's not. And then we could cover another one and say not equal to hello world. Now exclamation exclamation mark and the equal sign means not equal to. So this means if x is not equal to y, print hello world. And then there's another one called greater than, which is just this key on your keyboard. You should find it, just hold shift and press it and you should be able to get it up. If x is greater than y, print hello world, and it won't. And then there's another one for less than. Can you guess it? You're right, it's this one. So if x is less than y, print hello world, and it is less than y, because x is 10 and y is 20, and if you've done basic math, then you will know that x is less than 20. If 10 is less than 20, so x is less than y. So it will print hello world. There is another one called less than or equal to. All you have to do is add an equal sign at the end at, after the less than symbol. Kind of looks like an arrow pointing to the left. And it will say, it just basically says if x is less than or greater than or equal to y. That means if x is less than or equal to y which it is less than, not equal to. It will print hello world, and it is. Then there's another one. It's the greater than sign, and uh, an equal sign after, after it. So it looks like an arrow pointing into the equal sign. And it says, if x is greater than or equal to y, then we will print hello world. 
Thank you for watching this tutorial. Uh, hopefully you learned something from it. If you did, please uh, share it with your friends, leave a like, and subscribe for more Python tutorials. But until then, my name is Sonic2KK, and I will see you in the next tutorial.